Hello, remember me? No, I'm not Frankenstein. Everyone's always mixing me up with the scientist who created me, Victor Frankenstein, but he never bothered to give me a name. In fact, he never cared much for me. I asked him for one thing, a female companion, a bride, but he refused. He feared she and I would create a new race that would drive humans to extinction. He called me a demon, a monster. In the 21st century, there are many potential Dr. Frankensteins, and they might create their own monsters, or what today's scientists call existential risks. In the past, humans didn't have to worry about science that could end humanity itself. Then came July 16, 1945, when people detonated the first atom bomb. Some scientists feared that this test might set off a chain reaction that would ignite the atmosphere. Today, we know that there was no way this could have happened, but that was the first human-made existential risk, and from it grew a weapon stockpile that brought a real dire threat, nuclear holocaust. There are now three academic centers dedicated to studying existential risks. The researchers there argue that there are plenty of new existential risks on the horizon could be brought about either through error or terror. New potent viruses made in the lab could escape and kill billions of people. Artificial intelligence tasked with, say, solving a mathematical problem could pursue that task so single-mindedly that along the way, it creates an environment fatal to humans simply because it hasn't been programmed to recognize this. An army of nanobots tiny, self-replicating robots could destroy the biosphere. Some think these scenarios are too unlikely to deserve study, and that humans should concentrate on combating climate change and avoiding nuclear war. But others argue that this is a new category of risk, and the old approaches of trial and error won't work when it comes to averting the end of the world. So new strategies are needed. But for the moment, most scientists are still stuck on the first part of the work, coming up with scenarios that present humanity with existential risks. It's the kind of work where scientists have few examples, except one towering figure, of course, my real creator, Mary Shelley.